Hi, this is Lynn, and welcome to another Persuasion Bite, bite-sized tips on persuasion that you can use right away. Rarely have any of us lived through a time as stressful as this one. Research shows that about a year ago, oh, about 22% of people surveyed said that they believed they were under major stress. Now, that percentage is up to over 70. Our brains are set up to handle acute or short-term stress, and it can actually be good for us. So for example, you've got a big meeting coming up. You're under stress. Well, it's helping you focus, it's helping you meet deadlines, and it's helping you perform well at that big meeting. Chronic stress, on the other hand, brains are not set up for that. So stress where we don't know it's going to end, the way we do if we know that meeting is going to be over, then that stress will be over too. What happens is a number of long-term changes in our brain structure. The first one is our amygdala. This is the part of our brain that's constantly scanning the horizon, looking for physical and verbal threats, and getting us out of the way. And the amygdala shuts down other parts of our brain so it can make sure that we survive. What happens under chronic stress is that our amygdala gets enlarged, which means that it becomes hypervigilant, looking for stress. And we all know what we look for, we're going to find. The second thing that happens to us when we're under chronic stress from a brain standpoint is our prefrontal cortex actually shrinks. So this is the part of our brain that's responsible for processing our emotions and expressing them, for problem solving, for memory, for impulse control. So all of these things get dampened when our prefrontal cortex shrinks, which means that we're not performing at our best. And the other thing that's bad about this is that our emotions are contagious. Stress is contagious. So when we're wandering around stressed out all the time, we're communicating this to other people. And they pick up on it, and they become more stressed out. How do we end this cycle? Here are three tips you can use right away to start reducing your stress level. First, Part of the problem with stress is that we feel we have no control over it. We don't know when COVID-19 is no longer going to be a major factor in our lives. So the first thing we can do is look for the things that we can control and take action on those. It could be that to-do list so you know what you need to accomplish today and you cross things off. Or it could be setting a deadline and knowing you can complete something by a certain amount of time. It could be your office is a mess, wherever your office is, and so you straighten it up so you can find things more easily. In other words, control what you can. It gives you a sense of relief. The second thing you can do to reduce your stress is, not surprisingly, breathe. So take deep breaths breaths. People recommend, or experts recommend, doing it particularly at the beginning of a day and at the end of the day. Taking 10 deep breaths to start your day on a calmer note and end your day with 10 deep breaths. And if you're feeling particularly stressed during the day, here's something that will help. Inhale for a certain number of beats and exhale for twice that number. So for example, inhale for three beats, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and exhale for six, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. This will calm your body. And if it's safe, close your eyes because that will limit the amount of stimulation you're getting and help you to relax. And third, get some good rest. Yeah, it could be those deep breaths before you go to sleep, that will help, but also it helps to have a routine. So get to sleep and wake up at the same times every day. That helps. And make sure you're getting enough sleep. We are living in incredibly stressful times and we don't know 
when this chronic stress is going to end. So know these things can actually change the structure of your brain and choose activities to calm your stress because not only will it calm yours, but it will calm the people around you. And that will help you become the most persuasive and compassionate person in the room. Thanks for watching.